Hi everyone. Today we're going to make uh, we're going to make beef and broccoli. So I'm going to use short herbs for that, and we're going to use frozen broccoli florets. Just so you can see that you can buy frozen uh, fruits and vegetables, and you won't miss their vital nutrition. They freeze them just at the perfect moment that they get picked, and um, in this way they seal in all their nutrition. And it could be less expensive for you to do that and get more bang for your buck. So let's start. Okay, now we've got our short ribs all cut up, cut in between the bones. And you can use uh, short ribs, you can also use uh, uh, prime rib, uh, you can also use some sort of a roast that's boneless. I'm just trying to make it a little bit different that you can also use uh, short ribs. Uh, yes, it can be a little bit more work to eat. You're gonna have to use your fingers to eat the uh, eat the meat uh, around the bones and stuff like that. But you know, it's gonna make it more fun, more interactive, and it'll be something different, and it'll give the a greater presentation uh, uh, with the final with the final meal. Okay, so now we're gonna do the the marinade. You need to have sherry, soy sauce, sesame oil, and sugar. And today I've chosen to use some date syrup. So about three tablespoons or just under a quarter cup of uh, sherry. Okay, half of a quarter cup of uh, soy sauce. If you like soy sauce, you can go a little heavier on it. About a teaspoon of uh, sesame oil. Sesame oil is very potent, so go easy. And also about about two teaspoons of um, date syrup or honey if you have it. Mm. It's good to measure out the oil first before you add the honey or the syrup because it makes the honey or syrup flow out of your measuring cup much easier. Okay, and a little bit of pepper. Little pepper. Or a lot of pepper, whatever you prefer. And a little bit of salt. Go easy on the salt, as you'll be also salting the final dish. Okay. While our meat is marinating, we're going to work on delicious mushroom Chinese style soup. Today we've got a mushroom theme type dinner and we're going to start with some sliced portobello mushrooms, uh, onions, cilantro, uh, some green onions, some ginger, some chili peppers, and of course some chicken soup, uh, chicken soup powder that we're going to mix with some water and also potato starch to give to thicken a little bit. All right. Now, again, the whole purpose of the show is to show you how you can incorporate convenience foods into, into your cooking uh, every day to lessen the time of preparation. So getting a good quality canned uh, fruits or vegetables can definitely uh, help to reduce the time in the preparation and the washing and the slicing. All you have to do is drain the water and add that to your soup and away you go. All right. Well, our soup is simmering right now. We're going to start on the beef. Our beef has been marinating for the last 45 minutes and we've got uh, garlic and ginger here, ready chopped. We've got two more cans of our uh, chopped mushrooms that's going to go on top of our beef together with our broccoli and the garlic and the ginger. So I've preheated the pan. We're gonna add some vegetable oil. Yeah, I would say about half a cup of vegetable oil. You want to make sure that the, that the beef has a nice crispy surface on it as you're, as you're uh, pan frying it. Um, you know, you can pan fry it until, you know, until the, it's about medium well. And the uh, short ribs are quite thin, so that's not going to take very long. You don't want to crowd the pan because then all this moisture is going to seep out of it. Instead of having a nice crust on each piece, you're going to have this kind of bland, uh, grayish looking meat and then you can defeat the purpose of this wonderful presentation, this wonderful texture 
that you're going to get from the beef and all of this work will be for nothing so patience in these last few minutes of preparation have lots of patience and you'll have a wonderful product so let's get to it So as you're pan searing the beef, you don't want to flip it too early. Like I said earlier, you do want to have a nice crust on both sides. What you don't want to do is just keep flipping the meat over and over and over, back and forth. So give it about a minute and a half on each side, and that should be just perfect. Now, no Chinese or Japanese dish is complete without having a little side of rice to go with it. So we're going to cook up two cups of raw rice, which will give us anywhere between four to six portions, depending on how much rice you like. So there we go. And for every cup of rice, we can do one and a half cups of water. I'm using a short grain rice, it's a favorite in my family. You can use it to make sushi, or just a side steamed rice and make it very delicious and very authentic. Okay, the beef is almost done. So what we're going to do is make uh, a little bit of the sauce that's going to go on top of our beef and broccoli. And that's basically just going to be the same ingredients as we use it for the marinade. So. Okay, now any excess oil, we're just gonna pour out of it. We're gonna add our garlic and ginger, and then we're going to add our broccoli. Now, if you have more broccoli than you can fit in the pan, what I would suggest is to put uh, about a third of that broccoli into your serving platter. The rest of the broccoli you're gonna put into the pan uh, where the beef was, you've got all those drippings in there from the beef, so you've got all that flavor. Mix that really well with the garlic and ginger. You're gonna add your sauce to that and mix all of that together. And then you're just gonna simply put it on top of the rest of the broccoli in your serving pan. And that's it. All right, there we go. Heavenly, I wish you could be here. I feel like I'm in one of the best Chinese restaurants in town. I'm not sure if the best Chinese restaurant in town could do what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so, this is done. Smells delicious. I really wish you could join me at my dinner table. Maybe one of these days a lucky person will get to sit with us and enjoy a delicious meal. It's always fun in this house. It's always delicious. We love to cook. And now with uh, everything going on in the world, we're making greater effort to sit together, have longer conversations, and uh, spend more time in the kitchen preparing delicious meals because it's fun, not because we have to. And here's the dish. Thanks for joining me. Um, join me in my kitchen often. Follow me on my YouTube channel. That's uh, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Marat Dreshner. You can always uh, take a look at our Facebook page, Herb Life Healthy Habits and Fit Body, which, which we also, uh, <laughs> which we also uh, share the link to all our cooking videos, exercise videos, nutrition videos, 
and how to live a healthier life to be a better you. All right. So also follow us at Instagram at fire.fitcouple. So there's lots of ways you can find us and be part of our world and live happier, healthier, join a community. Let's have fun together. Bon appetit.